Yesterday was huge. The spark was reignited and the big players in the space are truly flowing back towards Shiba Inu. In fact, we saw these large volume transactions, the ones that are $100,000 or more, absolutely explode yesterday. 390% growth, guys. We went, we increased an astonishing $56.78 million worth of these transactions alone. Okay. You can see this is what the chart has looked like. Ooh, this is what it's looked like throughout July here. It's been pretty flat for the most part. So obviously yesterday was a very big deal. Shiba Inu price soared almost 10% on the day. Actually got above 5080 at 1.2. Now, unfortunately, we didn't really get much help overnight, okay? Unfortunately, Asia did not push us a, a little further, which is definitely disappointing. But right now, we've essentially gotten back into this, this range, this 5078 through this 5080 level. And this is a range that we have struggled with before. Just look at what happened here. Okay, we actually printed a, a head and shoulders right here. So hopefully that doesn't be, doesn't, wow. Hopefully that doesn't end up being the case here. I think it's likely that we'll continue to trickle to the upside here. I am expecting some consolidation too. It's kind of tough to judge it from here, but what has officially happened now is once Judge Torres releases the official ruling, Okay, because this wasn't the official ruling, guys. This is just essentially info that was, it wasn't essentially leaked, but it was kind of like a pre, pre-release on that information. Once this is officially filed and ruled, the SEC does then have 30 days, 30-day window to appeal this decision. Okay, I don't know if they do it. The reason why I'm saying this is because they did get a partial win in here. They're saying that the sale from Ripple of XRP to sophisticated investors and in hedge funds constitutes breaking securities laws. However, anything that's sold on secondary markets is not breaking securities laws. So crypto then is not a security. So that's basically the, the distinction that you need to realize here. And we obviously need to wait to see how this all plays out. I think that's the final pause that we're waiting for is to see if the SEC does in fact want to appeal this decision. They're, they may not have much luck, okay? Only about 20% of appeals end up winning and it's it's tough with this kind of ruling, with this kind of precedent set, it's going to be very tough for the SEC to overturn any of this. And honestly, I think they'd be stupid to do it because then it really just shows their hand. OK, they'd be taking what they would consider as a win and trying to turn it into a double win. And then it would clearly be that they have their eyes set on crypto as a whole. So obviously we have to wait and see. This is obviously going to couple with the time of you know the Shibarium launch, which. You know, if we get no appeal, if we get uh, Shabarium launch, that's where you can see things really get exciting. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.